I'm going to go through a few problems using um, scientific notation and dividing two numbers that are in scientific notation. Make sure you have some notes out so that you have some problems to look back on before the test. Okay, so let's start with 8 times 10 to the 7th power divided by 2 times 10 to the 3rd power. Okay, nice easy one to start. And notice that both the top, the numerator, and the denominator are both in scientific notation. Okay, so just like we did the multiplying, we're going to split it up with division 2. Okay, I like to split up my numbers and my exponents. Okay, so we have 8 divided by 2. Okay, if you need to, you can use a calculator, okay, but I hope that we know 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then we are also going to do 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 3rd. And we have a property, our division property, that when we, our bases are the same and we're dividing, then we subtract those exponents. So we have a base of 10 and then 7 minus 3. So that ends up being 10 to the 4th power. And we got 4 over here. And all we have to do is then divide or put them together and multiply. Okay, so we have 4 times 10 to the 4th power. Okay, a common misconception is that people are wanting to do 4 divided by 10 to the 4th power because since we started with our division over here, but we still want our answer in scientific notation. And we know scientific notation, we have that multiplication. And since 4 is less than 10, but greater than 1, okay, then we are in scientific notation. Okay, let's go on to another problem. Maybe a little bit of a harder one. Let's do 7.1 times 10 to the 6th power divided by 8.2 times 10 to the 1st power. Okay, so again, we're going to split up these problems. We're going to do 7.1 divided by 8 first. And we end up with a nasty decimal. So let's just round it to 8.87 for now. Okay, we'll just round it off. Okay, and then we have 10 to the 6th divided by 10 to the 1st. Our bases are the same, so we're going to subtract those exponents together to get us 10 to the 5th. Okay, so we're going to put them together because we want our answer in scientific notation. So we have 0.87 times 10 to the 5th power. Now I hope everybody notices that we are not in scientific notation because 0.87 is not greater than 1. That means we need to move our decimal place over 1. So we have 8.7. Now remember when we did our multiplication, okay, how if we moved it to the left, we added 1 to our exponent? So what would happen if we move our decimal over to the right? What do you think would happen now to that exponent? Okay, remember when we moved it to the left before we added 1, Okay, so if we're going to move it to the right, we're probably going to subtract 1. Okay, so we end up with a 4 up as our exponent there. So 8.7 times 10 to the 4th is our final answer. Okay, it was a little bit of a rounded answer, an estimation, because we had to round over here with our decimal. All right, let's do one more with maybe some negatives. Okay, if we have 8 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 8.3 times 10 to the negative sixth power. Okay, so again, we are going to split it up into two separate problems. We're going to do 8 divided by 8.3. 
and we get an approximation of 0.96, let's say. And then we have 10 to the negative fifth divided by 10 to the negative sixth. Now we, we're still dividing, so we're still going to subtract those exponents. Negative 5 minus a negative 6. Okay, I hope you noticed minus a negative. We're going to zoom, zoom. So we end up with 10 to the negative or positive one. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to put them together. 0.96 times 10 to the first power. Is this in scientific notation? 0.96 times 10 to the first. No, it's not. So we're going to move our decimal over 1, right, to the right. So when we move our decimal to the right, remember we subtract 1 from that exponent. When we move it to the left, we add 1 to our exponent. Okay, so this maybe would be a good thing to have in your notes under your scientific notation. So 9.6 times 10, 1 minus 1, unique, we get a 0 up there as our final answer. Okay, and usually the directions will tell you to keep your answer in scientific notation, so we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, we know that anything to the 0 power ends up just being 1. So our answer ends up being just 9.6, okay, but usually they want you to leave it like in scientific notation. Okay, so that's all I have for you for using division and scientific notation numbers.